you're about to go out and buy a Scandinavian or a Skagit shooting head, it's well worth knowing how these lines are rated. In the good old days, we'd go by a line rating number and we'd simply go out and buy a line that fitted our rod. For example, if we had a five weight uh, trout rod, we'd go out and buy a five weight line, as simple as that. Uh, when we come to spay lines, it's almost as easy. We can still go out and buy, uh, say, a 1011 line for a 1011 rod. When we get into Scandinavian and Skagit shooting heads, however, um, you'll see that the line rating system doesn't get used nearly as often. So what we find ourselves using is grain weights instead, or if you're in Europe, grams metric. But over on the side of the Atlantic, we tend to use uh, grains instead. If you want to do conversion, uh, one gram equals roughly 15 grains. So let's look at what we have here. I have a uh, Scandinavian shooting head and a Skagit shooting head. I have the polyliter for the Scandinavian head and I have a 10 foot of T14 for the uh, Skagit head. The Scandinavian shooting head weighs 450 grains. However, the Skagit head weighs 510, and they're designed to load the same rod. Now that's interesting, isn't it? There's quite a bit of difference between 450 and 510. And what's more, when it comes to Skagit uh, shooting heads, we're adding a sink tip. In this case, uh, 10 foot of T14, which is another 140 grains that we have to add on. So think of that for a moment. We've got 450 here with a little polyliter, and we have 510 here with another 140. It adds up to a lot, and you're saying to yourself, how can they load the same rod? Well, they do. Uh, the difference is in how they're cast and how the lines are uh, tapered. I won't get into the technical mumbo jumbo, but let's take it from the uh, fact that these two lines will load the rod roughly the same. Now, one of the important considerations when we're uh, looking at trying to decide what our rod should take is we don't worry about the sink tip. Sync tip does not get included in the calculation, so let's toss that out of the picture. And the same thing goes with polyliters. We don't worry about those, so well, let's take those out of the picture as well. So if we're going to go buy a, a rod, and now we want to go buy a shooting head for it, and whether it's a Scandinavian head or a, a Skagit head, we've got to figure out what's right for our rod. Now, there are some number of ways to do this, and uh, probably one of the better ways is to go to the manufacturer's websites and have a look at what is recommended for your rod. So, for example, if I had a 7.8 rod, they may recommend this 450 uh, grain Scandinavian setup, or they may recommend this 510 Skagit. And sometimes you'll see a recommendation of um, a high and a low, which is a recommendation, let's say, if you're an advanced caster, you might go low. If you're um, a beginner, you might go high. Or it could be just personal preference. You might like a lighter load or a heavier load. It gives you some choices. Now, the important thing to remember is that not everybody knows what is right. I mean, if you're just starting out, how do you know what to pick? Um, you d wouldn't know um, what right feels like when you have it on your rod. And that's why the manufacturer's recommendations are so important. They give you a starting point. And from there, you can go out and buy a line with confidence that it will work on your rod. Uh, that's the important thing. Now, whether it's perfect for you, that uh, remains to be seen. But nevertheless, it will work on your rod. The other way is to go out with a qualified guide or a qualified casting instructor and have them bring some lines and have you try them. And as you're learning how to cast, you're also finding out which lines you like. And that's also a very good way to do it too. Because it's always better to go out and buy the right line right off the bat. It makes your fishing far more productive and far more fun. There's nothing worse than struggling with a line that doesn't fit the rod. So it's important to realize that our uh, Skagit heads and our Scandinavian heads these days are more commonly rated by their weight. Uh, and you have to look on the manufacturer's website to find out what is the best choice for your rod. And uh, as I say, it's a, that's just a starting point. You may end up with something a little bit different, but the important point is it will work for your rod. And remember, you're looking at weight in grains, 450 for Scandinavian, 510 for uh, Skagit in the case of a 7.8 rod. And you know it's relatively simple once you get used to the idea that you're just looking at matching weight to a rod. So there you go. It's pretty straightforward. 
just a matter of doing a little bit of research on a manufacturer's website and you can find out what works for your rod. Um, the important thing is to remember that these days most of these shooting heads are being rated by weight. It is easy once you get to understand it. Also it's important to realize that Scandinavian will be lighter than Skagit. That is normal and your rod will feel the same with both heads so it's not like one will load the head more than the other. So you can buy with confidence if you just take a few steps like that and get out there and get fishing and have some fun.